this case this is a uh... welcome welcome this farmer is here and what you're seeing here is basically um ugali food made uh out of corn you know yeah so this is our ugali here in the village and ugali is a common meal so especially for supper and lunch yeah so sometimes the remains of ugali is consumed we normally use it to feed our chickens and one thing that you need to know is that these chickens really love ugali so much Yes, so so besides uh, what we normally buy as the chicken feeds from the shops or the agrovets like this one here uh, We normally feed them using ugali, uh, the remains of uh, what we cook basically, not necessarily ugali, uh, and also the greens. So sometimes we bring here green coral or skuma wiki, as it's commonly known here in the village. Uh, that's what we normally feed them. Use uh, that's the greens, vegetables. Yes. Okay, so here. Yeah, so that's what we normally use to feed them. And uh, I mean, guys, feeding chickens here in the village is not vegetable itself. <laughs> yeah, it requires a lot for sure. Like, uh, you have to buy feeds, you have to, um, like, provide them with a lot of water you know they drink a lot of water actually um, and uh, of course you have to monitor them to check on their healthy how they are I mean the, the progress of the chickens day in day out so um, because fail to do so they wanna fall sick and they're gonna lose a number of them if not all actually because chickens as I said they are one of the most sensitive animals that I've ever seen or met or interacted with. Yes, guys, I've seen a, a sunset over there. Wow, can you check on that? <laughs> it's evening here, 6 p.m. And check on that sunset. Very lovely, very lovely. Yes, wow, very nice. So I'm um, coming right from Kisi, Kenya, East Africa, guys. And uh, if this is your first time coming across my YouTube channel, I'm going to ask you in a very humble way, please consider to subscribe. Uh, make a comment, let me know what you think about the environment here. And besides uh, the fish that you buy from the shop, let me know what do you use to feed your chickens? Because mine here are never asking for food. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's like children that want, need to be fed, you know. There's one here and they are stepping on it. Oh, this one is a sick chicken. It's like a handcuffed child. And uh, they are stepping on it. You see? So they are stepping on it. You see? It's uh, the leg is not really very good. Yeah, but the good thing it's growing. And we really love it so much because uh, we do take care of it. Yeah, so... And we are very optimistic that at the end of the day it's gonna grow just like these other big ones. And... Uh, yes. So, as I was saying, uh, feeding chickens in the village is one of the difficult jobs. But one thing that I've really discovered is the fact that... Uh, Chickens feeds on 
banana the remain from banana the banana stalks this one's here guys it's a it's a for me it's a discovery that i've just made because uh you play the panga because uh for sure they really eat they eat banana stalks and uh let me show you Nipay panga Okay, this is my girl. I'm trying to. Uh, I'm asking her to give me a panga, and she's bringing it in a wheelbarrow. Hello, how are you? Hi. Yes. I am fine. Oh, you're fine. Okay. So, uh, what's your name? My name is Dekla Joy. Dekla Joy. Okay, this is my girl. She's uh, Dekla Joy, just as she said. She's turning five on 23rd of September. So. <laughs> You could be sending happy party day messages in advance and she really wishes to i mean she, she can't wait to have a party day because she, honestly speaking she loves party day so much uh to the point that every time we meet because we don't really stay together uh -huh. all the time but every time we meet it's like a party day for her because she has to ask for a party day cake so i'm like the day i need a cake and i'm like Cakes don't are not put every time, like every time. But anyway, that's her. She's turning five on next month on 23rd, and uh, I wish all the best. Yes. So just as I said, guys, one thing that I also discovered that chickens really love is this banana stock. I think I need to place it somewhere. Let me let me put it up here. And uh, Josh Dong, I think it was Josh Dong, a farmer, a fellow farmer, told me that farmer Isa, don't feed your chickens from the ground. Like, don't give them food on the ground. And I was like. Just down, what should I do? You see? They want to come and feed on this now. You see? Wow. You see? Okay, so this is how we are feeding our chickens. <laughs> Cynthia, you can see how you can come up. Imagine <laughs> and that one is like hey dad you are giving chicken a uh, cow's food yeah so you see so this is a surprise food that we give uh, chickens here in the village and uh, it supplements what we buy from the shops besides the remains of the food that we eat we normally give them this one here and they really eat it so much you see yes so guys let me know uh under the comment section do you feed chickens at your place using uh the banana stalks yeah do you feed them like it, just what I'm doing here because now they feed they feed on it and uh, but one thing that uh, I came to discover is that of course the banana stalks uh, it does not really have um, what I could call as a, a nutritional benefit to the chickens it does not have nutritional benefit to the chickens but at least it supplies them with some 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 water because I believe seventy percent of this banana reeds or banana stalks are made of water. So and again, just as I said, chickens feed. I mean, they they really need a lot of water. Like they drink a lot of water during the day. Yeah, Yeah. 
So, so, and again, uh, we normally feed them with uh, vegetables. These are garden guys, and as you can see, there's a lot of uh, green colors. And this is some of them. So we normally get these ones. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Yes. Yeah. So you are doing good. Yes. So you got this one here. Yes. What are you doing in there besides these ones? I was looking for vegetables. Okay. For supper. For supper. Yes. Wow. So you know, yeah. When your mom is not ready, yeah, yeah, girls take the responsibility. Yeah, sure. Yes. <laughs> so which vegetable have you gotten? Kelts. Kelts. Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Actually, Cynthia, let me say that these ones are not kelts, but these ones are green corals. But we are used to call them kelts. But it's high time that we learn that these are green corals. Green corals. Corad greens. Right? Yes. Corad greens. Yeah, so we have a kelts, they look the same, but these are not kelts. But anyway, we normally call them kelts, right? Yes. Here in East, East Africa. But actually, okay, uh, okay, they, they are not kelts, but it's uh, just a matter of time. So you got enough? Yes. Oh, nice. So guys, if this is your first time watching, this is Cynthia. Cynthia is my nephew. Please. Is it a niece? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, introduce yourself once again. <laughs> Hello, guys. My name is Cynthia, yeah. and for my side, it's my uncle. Yeah. Yes. Wow, that's nice. That's nice. So, have a, have a great time. Okay. okay. So, guys, just as I said, we normally uh, give them using these ones. Let me let me give the pure ones, guys. Let me give the pure ones and see. Because uh, Farmer Justin Dong told me that it's not good to feed chickens from the ground. And that's what I want to do here. I want to avoid that. So, so normally we give them vegetables like these ones here. Hey, you must be very careful. Fail to do so, your your your, your finger will be eaten by a chicken. <laughs> Dekla, you are making noise and I'm making a video. <laughs> Dekla is joking. You, you want chicken? Oh, guys, this is what we normally do here, as you can see, and. They're feeding on these chickens. They're feeding on these cans of green corals, colored beans. Yeah. They want to eat. They want to eat green corals. Huh? They want food. Right? So, are you going to bring one? Bring some maize. We give them. Yeah. Bring some. Go and bring some maize. Maize. Where are you going to get maize? Huh? Where? Go, get it from here. Here. Maize. Yes, maize. Corn. <laughs> Let me see if she got her, if she knows corn, guys. <laughs> I'm not sure if she knows maize. Let me see. So there she comes. Close that house. Close the house. Okay, she closes the house and Degla is learning English, guys. Wow, she brought some maize. <laughs> wow, thank you, thank you. So, so hold it, hold it, hold it. Watch it, Malizu, pay na i. Alafun unipay yo. So, pepe ju o taku nyanga o taku o taku. I'm just uh, trying to see if Dekla has learned some English. You know, she just joined the school school this year, actually. Uh, and uh, ever since I took her to the school, the new school, she has really had a tremendous improvement. And uh, she's doing well. 
excellently above expectations according to the grading yeah so you see guys they're feeding on cats or colored greens yes wow so next uh another food that we normally feed them as you saw the other video in the other video is this uh, corn yeah Throw one, two, one. Shh, let me wait, 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 wait. They can't even wait. Yeah, so this is how pescar we feed them here in the village uh, to ensure that at least they are in good, uh, healthy. We mix, actually, give them a mixture of food. So Besides them going around and getting food like grass and uh, you know they are scavenging so this is a free, a free range kind of uh, uh, chicken keeping and uh, just as I said the other day uh, free range chicken keeping actually uh, comes with its uh, challenges for example uh, uh, people come here especially people from around they, they actually steal our chicken because they easily get them other thing that happens when they are on a free range like this it's easier for them to interact with that chickens from uh, the homes around here and as a result if a sick chicken comes here it's easier for them to to get uh, infected and uh, at the end of the day you can easily lose your chicken so i think that also happens in a free range uh is that uh uh, we have animals here, especially we have predators actually uh, of different types like uh, the dogs, some wild cats and uh, a number of other predators that uh, eat our chickens here uh, including the eagles guys here in Kenya, especially in Kisi we have got uh, eagles and hawks and they really eat our chicken a lot so uh but soon we i hope we're gonna have a house and uh it's going to make the difference because now it, it will be it will shall help, help us and to keep the oh sorry the chicken they want to <laughs> they want maize Dekla. they want corn Give them corn. Yes, yeah, so, so so far this is what we are doing here in the village guys. It's an amazing job and I'm sure you would love it. So let me know what you normally use to feed your chickens so that I can also incorporate it here at least to supplement what we have here and uh, I believe it's going to make the difference so don't hesitate to share with me under the comment section and I will really appreciate and from former Issa I'm gonna say thank you so much for tuning in to watch I'm really very grateful have a great time bye bye see you next time Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is for Mahisa here, guys. I'm coming right from my home. It's here in Kisi, Kenya, East Africa. And what do you think about the environment here, of course? The good thing about uh, is, can you see that moon over there? It's a moon day.